Hi, and welcome to this video where I'm going to be talking about what being totally human means to me, at least partly what it means to me. Yesterday was a totally human day. <laughs> and I wanted to just talk to you a little bit about it. And, and I wanted to look in the direction of how this understanding changes everything about that totally human day. And the totally human day that I want to talk about was yesterday. Yesterday I got up in the morning and I had an early workout with my trainer and on the way to our training location, he asked me where, where I was in my mind. He could just kind of notice that I wasn't present in the moment. And I checked in with myself and I realized, yeah, I wasn't present in the moment. I wasn't, you know, with him, I wasn't out in the world. I was in inside of myself. I was crunching uh, a business question that I had posed to myself the day before. And my brain was working on high drive to solve the problem or to, to answer the question. But it, it couldn't, there was, no, there was no answer coming, but it was still circling and circling around the question. And probably you know this from yourself as well. And it was interesting because in the past, years ago before I came across this understanding, when I would have such a question as that, it would be my just regular um, way of being that I would, I would think it would be important to continue thinking about that question. But now with this understanding, I knew, oh, okay, my, my brain is, is, is computing, it's trying to help me out, but there's nothing to be had there, it's just turning in circles. At the same time, being totally human as I am, I couldn't put a pause on it, I couldn't make it stop, it just went as long as it went. And I, I, could, I could be present when I could be present, right? We got to the training location and um, it was a beautiful day. We trained outside yesterday. And I remember starting on the first exercises, which were some stretching. And suddenly my creative mind started going in a direction that was unexpected. It started giving me this idea that as a woman of my age at 45, it would be better to live alone, <laughs> which is so funny to me because I've been married for 25 years and I'm in a wonderful relationship with, with my husband. We have a very strong bond and a loving relationship. But all of a sudden I was entertaining thoughts of living by myself. And, and the story that my, my mind was telling me was, it, I might as well live alone because I don't get any help. I do everything myself. I do all the things in the house. I do all the things for our social life. I do my own business. Like I don't need to be with someone else. And it was funny because as my brain was revving up into this thinking of, you know, I, I just rather be alone. I could see moments in the past few days where my husband really had proactively taken the dog out on the weekend when I wasn't feeling well, like over two days completely, he took the dog out the whole two days um, where I couldn't get up. He, he had proactively gotten out the floor cleaner and cleaned all the parquet floors in the house, washed them down. He'd gone grocery shopping for the whole household, you know, so that I could see the facts in the background and um, they weren't matching to my inner building feeling like I just, he's not doing anything and I need to be alone. In the past, I would have taken these thoughts really seriously. And I would have thought maybe there is something wrong with him. Maybe I need to talk with him about something. Maybe I'm a bad wife. Maybe I'm unappreciative, right? I would have put a lot of thought and judgment on it. Or where is this coming from? Is this something that I need to look at? Today, I know that being totally human is just accepting these waves of creative thought energy in the moment and, and, and really just letting them be what they are. And yesterday I, I had moments of just enjoying in my mind's eye, the whole scenario of living alone, where my husband was going to move to, <laughs> you know? 
And then the day went on and I had, I got out of that funk and I, I enjoyed the trees and, and I looked at the sky and I, I breathed the fresh air and I had beautiful thinking and I had calm thinking until the afternoon. And I had a meeting with some people that I've been working with in the past. And I got off the call realizing that I had been a total jerk. I'd been an asshole to this to one person and I didn't even realize it. And I went on the afternoon dog walk and I came back and I realized, yeah, you owe that person an apology. And then I, and I called and talked to that person and I, and I said, then I was, I was an insensitive asshole. I'm sorry, you know? And I realized that what had led to that um, behavior was I had had thinking in the moment about something. I thought it was real and I, I reached out in a way and said something that was insensitive based on that thinking that I was having at the moment. So even there, you know, just realizing that doesn't make me a bad leader. It doesn't make me a bad person. It doesn't, it doesn't make me incapable of working in teams. Like I, I, I'm totally human. I have moments where I get lost in my thought, thought and I react on those thoughts unrecognizing, uh, unrecognized. And I have moments of insight where I can realize again what was really going on, right? So this is a one possible way to experience a totally human day. And not all days are like that with all these crazy thinking and up and down, but a lot of them are, right? And just to experience that fully, and you'll judge what you judge or you won't judge what you won't judge, but in, if in the background, your understanding of life, of being human, of being totally human is solid, you'll go easy breezy through those experiences. And that makes all the difference in life. That makes all the difference in your experience of being totally human, right? You don't have to be scared of that, like Sydney Banks would say, if everyone would just understand where their experience is coming from, the world would be a different place. So I just want to leave you with that thought and I'll see you soon. Thanks for listening and enjoy your totally humanness. Bye.